Hi, this is Anjay. And today I would like to talk to you about Dovetail import. So I would like to show you how to group data on cards and how to group data around your questions. So let's start in Dovetail and let's have a look how we normally structure our data. So as you can see here, uh, we normally do it by grouping our content by users. And by that, we list all our questions and answers that apply to individual user on the same, on the same card in the same document. By that, uh, we can't really compare these answers. Uh, we can't get a sense of priority importance because we can't really and know to how many users the specific positive or negative feedback applied. And we can still do it. We can still extract it from here and create new cards. But this is, uh, yeah, this is a very manual task. And uh, yeah, we probably don't want to do it. So instead of that, what I would like to suggest is to group your questions or group your data by questions. And this is your end result. So you'll see a um, list of questions that you ask during your interview or your usability session and all the answers on the card uh, with, with this question. And by that, as you can see here, uh, you can easily compare these answers. You can get a, a quick sentiment, like whether this was in general a positive or negative feedback and you can quickly convert it to, to insights and recommendations. Okay, so, so how to start? The important first step is to take all your notes in a spreadsheet. And this is important to, um, well, you can do it in Google Spreadsheet, you can do it in uh, Microsoft Excel. The important thing is that you have your questions in the first column and answers that apply to your participants in other columns, like we showing here in this example. Then the next step is to download it. And again, important thing is to do it uh, as a CSV file. That's the only format that is accepted by Dovetail. Once you do that, you go back to Dovetail and let's use another tab to, uh, to import our, our data. You go to import uh, and you select your, uh, your file from your computer. In this step, you mark, uh, you mark your content. So you're telling Dovetail uh, how the data in your file should be treated. The, the questions that you'll be using will become eventually cards or the titles of your cards and answers from your users will become content on these cards. You repeat that for every user and once you do that, you can also check this box saying to analyze sentiment and by that, Dovetail will try to tell you whether a specific answer is a positive or negative, negative feedback. Okay, we select our, uh, we select our uh, board and we select our uh, group within that board and we, and we import content. Okay, very quickly, you'll see uh, the result of the import. Uh, so you see all the questions from, from our study. And now the first thing what I normally do I, is I try to group them by themes. So uh, as you could see, we had some questions about uh, the experience. We had some questions about, uh, about the company type or the or broadened sense about the user. So we can, uh, we can just quickly create uh, one group which will be about experience with GitLab. And this question will definitely apply to it. 
uh, and this one as well. And another group about, um, about the user, okay? So if we want to then, for example, and get a sense like from which, what, what kind of companies they were, uh, they were coming from, uh, their, um, their job titles, we can, uh, we can find these answers uh, in this group. Okay, the next step is to go to individual questions and, uh, and try to uh, use our tags to, to help us get a um, better sense, understanding of, of their feedback. So as you can see here, Dovetail already applied some, uh, some tags, positive tags, but um, when you review this, this file, you can also uh, correct it if you think that it's not, uh, it's not exactly what, what, what the user said, and also apply new tags uh, if you think it makes, it makes sense here. Okay, um, so you have, uh, you have your questions, all the answers uh, in the same document, on the same card, and now you can easily convert it to, uh, to a highlight and, uh, and change it uh, later to a recommendation. That's great, thank you very much.